And it's Tuesday night. Ross Lyon joins me live once again. Ross, welcome uh, North Melbourne on Sunday. And the, the good news is it looks like Michael Walters is back in the mix. Yeah, he certainly looks like being available. He's got two football sessions to get through and then we'll go to match committee. But we're pretty keen to try and fit him in if he's available. That is good news. Any update on Matthew Pavlich? Trained exceptionally well uh, yesterday with uh, Aaron Sanderlands and they're progressing really well. They're in full training this week as well. So they'll, they'll do our two course sessions for the week. By uh, your own admissions, the fire is roaring and you're up and about. What exactly did you mean by that post-match, Coach? Well, clearly we've got our, our destiny in, in control in our own hands, so to speak, and certainly you know, we've got a lot of belief in ourselves, but we know that there's plenty of hard work in front of us and we've really got to take care of the present to, to get where we want to be in the future. You've turned Gary Gibbonson's football around. Some say he's in all-Australian contention. He's been terrific, hasn't he? Yeah, look at what's on the couch, and uh, he's certainly getting some accolades and well-deserved. Uh, a slow start to the year, but he's an important part of our back six or seven, and he's strong over the ball and using it well. So it's been great to see Garrick work really hard and get rewarded. North Melbourne's form's been excellent this season, albeit they haven't always got the wins. What do you need to do to stop them on Sunday? Well, I think their midfield's been a lead around the clearances, and they've got the power forwards headed by Petri. So... We have to diminish supply to them and, and give our own forwards a really good opportunity and it's going to be a really tough battle. We heard John talking about it a moment ago. A lot of names being tossed up for the Melbourne job. Would you like to see Peter Sumich put his hand up, Ross? Look, I'd be disappointed to lose him. He's been terrific support. He's done a really thorough apprenticeship and he's really ready to go. So I can be um, more enthusiastic about uh, P Peter gaining an opportunity, but it'd certainly be our loss. But there's plenty of um, time for that for Peter. His focus is Fremantle at the moment, but yeah, it'd be a great opportunity for him. We wish him all the best. Just one on the umpires, a lot of change that they've changed direction, a lot of talk that they've changed direction. How have you seen the last couple of weeks? Sorry, Basil, I missed that, the free kicks. Just a bit of talk, yeah, that they've changed the way that they've uh, interpreted free kicks. How have you seen it? Well, I certainly haven't noticed it myself, although the numbers tell you it's a strong pointer that there's been a shift, but maybe teams are just getting more disciplined and have adapted well and hence the, the lower numbers of free kicks given. So the umpires have to blow the whistle less. North Melbourne on Sunday. Once again, we wish you all the best. Thanks, Ross. Thanks, Basil. Cheers. Ross Lyon.